The DVX200 is capable of recording in a wide variety of frame rates, from as slow as 2 frames per second to as fast as 120 frames per second, and a whole lot of frame rates in between. That means you can get really, really slow motion, or really, really fast motion, or, or mild slow motion, or really, basically, whatever it is that you're looking for, the camera can do it. So in this video, we're going to teach you how to configure the camera to take advantage of that variable frame rate capability. As always, we start in the menu system. Go into the system mode menu, and we want to set our recording mode to either MOV or MP4, whichever you prefer. What's important here is that we cannot set it to AVC HD. Variable frame rates will not work in AVC HD. So set either MOVE or MP4. Next, you choose your recording format and it has to be an FHD format. You cannot choose ultra high def or 4K because the variable frame rate function just doesn't work in those. It only works in 1080p FHD, full HD. Now you have your choice of 24 or 30 or 60 frames per second. And really whatever your main program is that you're already recording, you wanna choose that same mode here so that the footage will integrate with your main program. So if you're doing a short film in 24p, then you definitely wanna choose 24p here. If you're shooting live sports at 60 frames per second, then you'd want to choose 60p here. Next, we go into the scene file menu, and this is where we're going to enable variable frame rates using the VFR command. And we're going to choose what frame rate we want to record at using the frame rate menu option. And the bigger the number that you choose, the slower the motion will be. So 120 frames per second is going to be slow motion. And the smaller number is going to be fast motion, like two frames per second. So choose what kind of look you're looking for and set the frame rate. There are a number of functions that get disabled when you enable variable frame rates. For example, dual codec recording, interval recording, pre-record. There's a lot of things that are just plain disabled when the variable frame rate feature is activated. So if you are rooting around in the menu system and you're trying to enable a certain function and it just won't go on, the good chance that maybe you left variable frame rate on and you need to go in and turn that off in order to enable these other functions. Another thing that'll happen is when you go back to your recording formats now, let's say that you, you're done shooting variable frame rates and now you go, wanna go shoot some 4K footage, you'll find that you can't select it. All these modes are disabled. Well, the reason is they're not 1080p. And because variable frame rate is on, it's trying to restrict you to a 1080p format where variable frame rate is appropriate. So go in and turn VFR to off and these will all become available and enabled again. One other piece of information you may want to consider, there's a little bit of a quality difference depending on how fast you set the frame rate. Anything from 2 up to 60 frames per second is done at 100% quality. You will not see any resolution drop or any increased aliasing or anything like that between your regular footage and your variable frame rate footage. But if you go faster than 62 frames per second, yes, the quality does drop off some. It gets a little bit softer. Maybe you'll see a little bit more aliasing in there. Go to 100 or 120 frames per second, it drops off a little bit more and also the field of view will narrow down. So you can get super slow motion at 120 frames per second, but the quality will be softer and the field of view will narrow. There is another way to trigger or disable variable frame rate mode, and that is that you can assign it to a user button. VFR is one of the selectable user button choices. So if you sign that to a user button and you press that user button, it'll turn on variable frame rates. And when you're done doing that, you wanna to return to normal mode, you can press that user button again and it will disable the variable frame rate feature. Now, one thing I wanna explore is that the frame rates don't necessarily have a built-in look associated with them. For example, if you shoot at a variable frame rate of 60 frames per second, that could be really, really slow motion. If your time base is 24 frames per second and you shoot at 60, then you're getting two and a half to one slow motion. But, what if your time base, what if you're shooting in 1080 60p and you set your variable frame rate to 60? Well, then it's gonna be real time. It's gonna look normal. You won't be able to tell any difference between your VFR footage and your normal footage because the frame rate's the same. So is 60p slow motion? Maybe, it depends on what your underlying project time base is. Remember, it can be 24, 30, or 60 frames per second. So if you choose a variable frame rate of 30p, and you're shooting in a time base, if you've chosen that you're gonna record everything in 1080 24p, then your variable frame rate 30p footage will actually be slightly slow motion. If instead you were shooting in a, in a 1080 60p project 
and you chose a variable frame rate of 30p, that will actually be fast motion. Even though the footage is being recorded at the exact same frame rate, it's because the time base that you chose determines how quickly the footage gets played back. And if there are fewer frames per second recorded than played back, that means fast motion. And if there are more frames per second that were recorded than you're playing back, for example, 120 frames per second were recorded, but we're playing back at 60 frames per second, then that means we'll have two to one slow motion. So the very fastest fast motion you could get, incredibly hyper fast motion, would be to be in a 1080 60p project and to record at a variable frame rate of two frames per second. That will give you 30 to one fast motion. And the very slowest slow motion, the most dramatic slow motion you could get is to record in a 1080 24p project, but record your variable frame rate footage at 120 frames per second. That will give you five to one slow motion. Very dramatic, very slow, slow motion. And one last tip to consider, when you're recording in variable frame rate footage, it's a good idea to set the shutter speed relative to the frame rate. Sounds scary, but the camera does it automatically. Go into the display setup menu, choose shutter display change, CHG, and set it to degrees instead of seconds. That way, the shutter speed will always be influenced by the frame rate. The faster the frame rate, the shorter the shutter speed, the slower the frame rate, the longer the shutter speed, just like a film camera works. So your motion will always look proper. I hope this has explained the variable frame rate feature and so you know how to use it and you can go out and start making some really interesting footage. For more tips and tricks, stay tuned to this channel and watch the rest of the videos in this series. Thanks for watching. Panasonic.